we have to be able to decode each syllable separately. So when we approach big words like this, our first step is to determine where a syllable begins and ends so we can decode the word. Once you guys master how to divide words into syllables using two very simple rules that we're going to talk about today, you'll be able to decode even really big words. The first skill we're going to talk about, it's decoding skill number one, is one will run. Everybody say that. One will run. Can you say it louder than that? Run. One, one will, will run. run. One will run. One, one, one will run. run. So to demonstrate this, I'd like you on your whiteboards to write this word. Mark each vowel with an X. Do you see any vowels there that don't make a sound? What do we call vowels that don't make a sound? Silent. Silent, Catherine. Good. Thank you, John Luca, for raising your hand. Uh, so we call them silent vowels. Please put a line through any vowel that is silent. Great. You guys remembered that when we have an E at the end of the word like that, it's silent. So now we have to determine where each syllable begins and ends. In order to do that, we look after each vowel. What's the first vowel in this word? Gianluca? E. The first vowel is E. What comes after the E? Gus? I. Are you sure? Oh. <laughs> so directly after the E is an S. Liana, is S a vowel or a consonant? A consonant. Great. And what letter comes after the S, Leo? I. I. Leo, is I a vowel or a consonant? Vowel. Vowel. So how many consonants follow right after that E? Catherine, what do you think? Um, how many consonants do we have immediately after that E? Two. Two consonants, what are they? S and D. Oh, yes, after it. How many consonants do we have in a row right after the vowel? One. Just one, right? Just the S. So this is a vowel, this is a consonant, and this is a vowel. vowel. So we only have one. And what we know is, read this again. One will run. One will run. That means that one consonant is going to run to the next syllable. So we're going to put a line between the E and the S to show that's where the syllables begin and end. What does every syllable have to have? Catherine? A um, vowel. Correct. Every syllable has to have a vowel, but we're not going to count our si silent vowels. It has to have a vowel sound. So if it's silent, it can't make a sound. How many syllables will this word have to have? Two. Two, because we have the E and the I. We don't count this last E because it's silent. We know that this has two syllables. Then we can go and decode each part of the word. What does that syllable say? B. And what does that syllable say? Side. What's the word? B. Side. Excellent. On your whiteboards, I would like you now to write this next word in brown. Don't give it away. Just go ahead and write it on your boards. Brown. Remember, when we talk about uh, our consonants, we're talking about consonant sounds. So if you see a blend, you're going to go ahead and put an arc under the blend like this. Go ahead and mark your vowels and then put an arc under any blends that you see. We have our vowels, lots of vowels. We have how many vowel sounds? Four. Four. So how many syllables will we have? Four. 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 Do we have blends in this word? Yes. Yes. What are, what are the blends in this word? Sean Luca. The P, R, P, and the S, T. I'm going to look at each vowel sound and find out what follows it. If it's one consonant sound, either a single consonant or a blend, I know that. Tell me. One will run. Can you say it with great enthusiasm? One, one will, will run. run. One will run. 
Here's my vowel sound. What comes after it? Liana. What comes after the... What comes right after the vowel sound? H. H. Is H a consonant or a vowel? Consonant. Consonant. And then what comes after the H? I. Is I a consonant or a vowel? Vowel. So how many consonants do I have immediately following the E? One. One. And we all know, great enthusiasm. One will run. So my line is going to go here. And then we got to the next one. Leo, you helped us with this one. Mm -hmm. What's our vowel sound in the next syllable? I. I. And what comes right after that I? The blend ST. The blend ST. So how many consonant sounds is that? Two. With two letters. How many consonant sounds does that make? Um, one. Just one sound. Let's all make that sound. Correct. So we've got one sound after that. And then what's this? A vowel. That's a vowel. So that one we're not going to worry about. We have a vowel and an ST blend. One consonant sound. And what do we know about one consonant sound? Great enthusiasm. One will run. So Leo, where do I put my line? Um, in between the I and the S. In between the I and the S. That ST blend runs to the next one. And then our we have two more syllables left. What's our next vowel sound, Gianluca? Our next vowel sound is O. Next one is O. What comes after the O, Gianluca? R. R. And what comes after the R? I. What is I? A vowel. A vowel. So how many consonant sounds do I have immediately following that O? Um, one consonant. One consonant. What do we know about one? One, one will, will run. run. One will run. So where do I put that line, John Luca? In between the O and the R. Terrific. In between the O and the R. And now I know I'm done because I only have one vowel sound left. You guys did a great job. You did a great job.